Hi everyone, what you're about to see is a screen capture of my vertically mounted Android tablet that's running a software called Stratix and Avair for in-flight software. Stratix is a receiver that receives ADSB in. This might be a little confusing for people, but Stratix runs on a Raspberry Pi and it is a Wi-Fi server. So the tablet has been selected to use that Wi-Fi from the Stratix, and uh, <clears throat> then you bring up a website. Um, it's basic. This so this next page you're looking at is just really a website. It's not an application or anything. That confuses people sometimes. So what you're looking at here is just the first page of the Stratix website. Now let's select the weather website from Stratix. You can see when I click on this other button I get tons of information from all the different airports. Let's click on the traffic button and see what we get. Wow, look at all the different airplanes flying around the central Florida area. Let's click on the towers button and see how many towers I'm receiving. The towers are broadcasting on the 978, and that's where you get all your upload data from. And let's go back to the main page and take note of the UAT. That's the 978 frequency broadcast. Um, so I have two receivers in this uh, Stratix. Now I'm bringing up the Avair app, and uh, you can see the uh, different all the different traffic around me. The black area on the map is because uh, it's off the sectional chart. It's displaying sectional charts right now. And just for grins, I'm going to bring up the uh, airport diagram for St. Pete Clearwater. And here's the airport facility directory. And here's a page that brings up all the airports that you've uh, entered recently. This is a flight plan page you can bring up, and it's uh, awesome for doing flight planning at home. I just press the nearest button, and you can see it brings up all the nearest airports, and if you are within gliding distance, it shows it in green. This next button allows you to file a flight plan from home, and uh, using my phone, I can open the flight plan while I'm in the airplane before I take off. The next screen is a small GPS screen, shows you the display, and then I press an I.O. button that shows you the input that's coming from the Stratix into the Avera program. Next, let's look at the different charts we can bring up on Avair. I'm going to bring up a TAC chart, which brings you a real fine detail map.
Next, I'm going to bring up an IFR low altitude chart. And note, you still see traffic on these air charts, and you would see weather if there was weather in this area. Now let's bring up an IFR approach into uh, St. Pete Clearwater. Uh, by pressing that AP button on the top, it populates the flight plan information with the approach points. And here you can see where our airplane is and where the first approach fix is for the uh, 3-6 approach at St. Pete. If you press and hold anywhere on the screen or particular an airport, you'll get a whole bunch of weather information like this. Thanks for watching. Please click the thumbs up button if you like the video.